Hey guys, Fireman Dan here. Welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. So last episode, I went over getting a basic uh, rover, spaceship, and base built. Uh, this so this time, I figured I would show you how to build a smart airlock. And the reason you want you would want a smart airlock is if you do not want to use mods, you can use something fancy dancy like well, this, and it will prevent you from losing oxygen in your. Uh, space station or your large grids, starships, whatever, when you're in survival world. So let's get started. So first things first, we're going to have a door. This will be, let's say, inside your ship. This will be going out to the outside. And let's name these. So we'll call these airlock, inner door. Airlock outer door. Now let's go ahead and close this in. And you can make it as as big as you want. And I'm gonna go ahead and make it a two by two space, or well, a little bigger there, two two by two. But the roof will be a little higher, so you're not all confined in. Nah, let's... Yeah, let's one. Or one block tall. And once again, you can make it as big as you like. We're gonna leave this open for a second and I'll show you why. Alright, up next we're gonna need a way to trigger the airlocks. So, on the outside, we'll need a button panel. On the inside, we'll need a button panel. Oh, well, inside your station. The inside of the airlock, we'll need a button panel. Alright, next we need a way to physically depressurize the airlock. So we'll have an oxygen tank. It's important that you do not hook this to the rest of your station. Because if this airlock gets what I mean by that is your conveyor system. So if, this air, if this oxygen tank is full of oxygen, whatever is inside here will have nowhere to go. All right, so you're going to depressurize like this. The air inside here has to be able to go into an oxygen tank somewhere. That is this oxygen tank. If it is full from being hooked to the rest of your station, well, guess what? You can't depressurize anything anymore. There's my air vent. Okay. So now, let's put some lights in here, because it's kind of dark. So let's call this airlock. O2 tank, just so we know what it is. Airlock vent, just so we know what it is. And... I'm doing that because if you're building this on a base, it's easy for stuff to get lost. So interior light, let's turn this up. Uh, this looks like seven's good, but I don't want it that bright. I like mine. Put it to 1.5 and turn it off the terminal just so it's not overbearing. Uh, that's still kind of bright. 0.5. There we go. The only reason I turn that down is it provides a light in here without it you know, being abundantly bright. So next we need some timer blocks. The timer block is what's going to cycle the airlock. And let's put four in. And I'll call the pressurize one. Pressurize two. Depressurize one. Depressurize two. Okay. So next, let's set this up. So we'll close this one. And turn it off. 
come over to here. We'll set this to, this will be pressurized off because we're coming in from the outside. And this one can be open. Okay. Um, let's see. Because we're gonna do, we'll go with the pressurized side first and then we'll do the depressurized side. So, you got a space built, right? We got the button panels. One on each side. One on the inside. You got your air vent. We got both doors. We have some timer blocks. And probably need some warning lights. Uh, do we? I don't know. Do we want warning lights on the outside? Inside? Uh, nah. We don't need warning lights. So let's set up your timer blocks. Let's do this the easy way first. And maybe we'll add some warning lights. I don't know. So the pressurize. I set this down to about one second. And we'll set up actions. So what we need to do. Interior door. Turn that on. The exterior door is closed. Air vent. Where's my air vent? And we will toggle pressurization off because we're, if we're pressurizing this, and then we'll start pressurize. Number two. Pressurize number two. We'll set the delay. Uh, we'll leave it at 10 seconds. That's a good enough time. We'll come into, into actions. We will open the inner door. And we will turn off the exterior door. And that way, that will, will prevent anybody from accidentally opening this. So, timer block for pressurize is set up. We'll come in here. Set up. Pressurize. Start, it's okay. And then we'll depressurize. Start on this side. On the exterior, remember we're coming in, so we're going to want to depressurize the airlock. Depressurize, start. On the interior, which will be the inside of your ship, we're going to want to pressurize the airlock, right? So. Start. So when we're coming in this way, we want to pressurize the airlock because it's open to the elements. When we're coming in this side, it is not open to the elements and we want to depressurize the airlock. So next, let's set up the timers for depressurize. Set that to one second. Set up actions. The interior door we will, or excuse me, the exterior door, we will turn on, the interior door, we will have that closed, the air vent, we will toggle to depressurize on, and then we will start number two. Number two, 10 seconds, set up actions. We will open the exterior door. And we don't want nobody to accidentally open the inner door. So we will toggle this off. 
let's see what happens. So we're in. All right, so. Close. Depressurize. Well, that was quick, so we could probably actually turn that down. Oh, that's okay. There we go. All right, coming the other way. Let's actually turn those down. Depressurize down to five seconds. Pressurize, turn that down to five seconds. So we're coming from the other, the other way. We want to depressurize the airlock. Close that. Depressurize the room. And open that door. That could probably even get turned down even lower. But we're coming out. All right? Coming from the inside. Pressurize the airlock. Close that door, pressurizes the airlock, opens that door. So what if we want to get a little bit fancy with this? What if we want, uh, what if we want warning lights? So, well, we really don't have to. But that's, that's basically your, your basic airlock. So the timer blocks, so your oxygen tank, right? Hook to an event, not hooked to nothing else. And then you you got your timer blocks here that, tr that triggers everything. When you want to pressurize the airlock, I want to, right, I want to pressurize the airlock. It turns on the inner door, closes the outer door, pressurizes the airlock, starts number two. Number two, set up actions. It just opens the inner door and locks the outer door. And the outside is reversed. So I know it's a little, it's been a while since I built this. And you can get, so it's a little uh, backwards or whatever, a little confusing. But you can get a little more uh, confusing or a little more confusing with this, a little more elaborate. Like you could put alarm blocks in here if you want. Um, I guess we can go ahead and do that. Uh, okay. Nah, we'll leave it as it is. Oh, tell you what, well, at least we'll put a, I'll put a sound block in here. To let you know, hey, it's being cycled, so you know. So, sound block. Let's turn this down. We don't need that. We'll turn it up to 15 meters. What's, what's the alert do we want? Three, yeah, good enough. We'll turn that up. And you can set this to anything, really, because it's going to get turned on. Or turned on and off by the timers. So, let's go back into timer blocks. So, let's call this... Airlock alert. So on the pressurized side, we will turn on the sound block. Let's turn on the airlock. Oh, it's play. I think it's play. It's play. And then on a depressurized, depressurized sign, same thing, play. And let's, let's turn that down to eight seconds. There we go. So I come in. Hey, I'm, I'm depressing your eyes in the airlock. Especially with the time a little bit. So, airlock alert. We'll turn that down to five seconds. It's five seconds, so we'll turn that down to four seconds. Depressurize. We'll turn that down to four seconds. Okay. 
Come in. Now what if we come in from the other side? Right? The airlocks are open on that side. Can't access it. Alright ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this quick little airlock video tutorial, please like, subscribe, and share. Just remember, your oxygen tank, do not hook it to the rest of your system, because if this fills up, the air inside the airlock has nowhere to go. And this can be built really anywhere. Ignore the reactor, I put that on there, so I have a uh, power for the little airlock. Fireman Dan, signing off.